All right, this is how to crash Windows 7. Now this is my Windows 7 laptop, and I'm using a video camera because obviously you cannot crash it and like have a screen recorder going because that will crash as well. Unless you're doing it in a virtual machine, of course. Like I have set up on this computer somewhere. Don't really care because I'm about to crash it. I actually do feel kind of bad about crashing it, but it actually has a really pretty looking fuzzy blue screen when you do manage to crash it. So what you want to do is look for a process called win in it. I don't think you're going to be able to find it this task manager. Let's see if we can click that and see it. Win in it. All right, here we go. End process. Do you want to end the system process? <laughs> yeah. I don't think it's going to let me do it, actually. Let's try me. I don't think it's going to work like that, so I'll use Process Explorer. Let that load up. Let's see if we can kill it from there. I think Windows is just going to shut down the computer instead of actually kill the process. So, we can see Win in it. Are you sure you want to kill Win in it? Yeah, I'm sure, baby. Nice, pretty blue screen. <laughs> Instant death. I wonder if it's going to fuck the whole thing up. Will it come back to life? That is the question. <clears throat> Start when it's normally. Hopefully it does. It would be such a shame if I destroy this computer. I don't have a backup CD for it. I do have a restoration, a restoration petition on this computer though, so I can always restore using that. I don't know if it, the same thing would work on Windows 8.1, but I guess you could try if you're really desperate to crash it. I think it's going to recover. Yes, it is indeed. So if you like making a little virus or something to like spook some users in VB, all you have to do is like kill win in it dot exe instant blue screen <laughs> I love it though it's fantastic I mean <clears throat> you shouldn't even be allowed to kill that process like you you know with like some virus protectors if you try and like kill the process it'll go access denied that's what they should have done with win in it but they didn't for some reason, you are allowed to freely go and kill it and create a blue screen death. We'll see if the Windows is recovered from a serious error dialog box comes up. Usually it does. Hopefully it does. As you can see now, the computer is now booted up. Let's restart the video. And we have found the Windows has recovered from a serious error screen. That's a blue screen. I don't know if it tells me if it's killed it because it found that it killed Win in it. No, it doesn't. But oh well, that's how you kill Windows 